his brother Bo Adams. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Yes, sir. I'd rather be in the house of the Lord than I would any other place, wouldn't you? Amen. He's done so much for us, we ought to be excited about him, shouldn't we? Amen. You know, I was sitting there and I was thinking, I said, well, you know, we still got a pretty good crowd. I preached to a whole lot less than what we have tonight. Mm -hmm. But you know, it ain't the crowd no way, is it? It's God, ain't it? If we was based on, on, on the crowd, well, we'd probably never preach. But thank God for the Word. He said, where there's two or three gathered in my name, I'm in the midst. So that's all we need, as long as we got Jesus. As long as He shows up, that's all right. That's all we need, and it's Jesus on our side. But I really appreciate God, and I thank Him for all that He means to me. To the world, He may not mean much to but Brother Clarence, He means everything to me. And I want to stand for Him and be a vessel that He can use in, in this end time we're living in. <laughs> You think we ain't living in the end time? Read the Bible and you'll find Amen. out where we're at. We don't need a clock. We don't need scientists to tell us. All we need to know is the Word of God. And we know where we live in that, ain't we? Yes. In time. But I really do thank God for being here tonight. Appreciate the Lord because He has blessed me with a mind to be in the house of God tonight. Thank you that I thank Him every day that I'm not maybe on life support. I'm not uh, got... Uh, you know, paralyzed. I'm not. I'm not being diagnosed with cancer. I I'm in pretty good shape, and I want to live my life for God. Don't you? Right. Thank God. You know, uh, I know that uh, sickness hits us sometimes, and we can't do nothing about it. But I thank God. Don't you for a healing a power that's in Him? Yes. If we got Jesus in us, we got all that we need, don't we? We got everything that we need. If we live. We're going to be happy. If we die, we're going to be even happier, ain't we? We'll be with Him to know that we finished the race. And, uh, and that's why we are to always be up in the Spirit and not be down because I thought, you know, many times and I looked around and I said, hey, somebody's got a little bit worse than I have. And I, I thank God that I'm able to, to be in the house of the Lord one more time, don't you? Yeah. Uh, to see what God has got for us, Brother Larry. God has got something for us, don't He? And I, I really appreciate the Lord tonight, and, and I love Him. So won't you give Him a hand, would you? Probably about, I don't know, probably a couple weeks ago. And and I, I want to give it to you tonight. Bless Just Lord. as He's given it to me. Bless but we can find this in a, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. <coughs> yeah, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and we'll go to verse 20. When you have it, say Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20, and the Bible reads like this. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ did be you reconciled to God. Let me read that again. Now then, we are ambassadors. Now listen to it. We are ambassadors for Christ's sake. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead be you reconciled to God. Give the Lord a hand and you can be seated. But I want to preach to you from the first part of the verse where the Bible says, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. And the word ambassador means an office, an officer of high rank. Yes. 
an officer of high rank. We are ambassadors for Christ. Come on. God has called us. He didn't call us to, to be defeated, did he? He called us to be a vessel that he could use. Yes. And I thought as God was dealing with me on this message, and I just want to take for a subject for a little while tonight, if God permits, I just want to preach to you on authority with backup. Come on. God has given His people authority. Yes. And a lot of times we let the devil whoop us. We let him keep us down. We let him keep us on the back burner when we got the power that God has given to us. Yes. Amen. I believe that when God saved you, He gave you power over all the power of the enemy. That's Amen. what the Bible says. Word. Amen. Yeah. And I begin to think and fill out the Scriptures how that a lot of times, you know, uh, an ambassador, he has power. The president has got an ambassador that he can send out that's got the same power that he does. He gives him the same power uh, to go out and uh, make rules or whatever and, 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 and all these different things because he has been chosen by the president and gave us the authority to do what needs to be done. Yeah. And I believe tonight that God has given us authority, don't you, over the powers of hell. How many uh, believe that tonight? How many believe that we have power over the powers of hell? I believe yes. that we've got the power, don't you? I, yeah. I believe that the Bible teaches you and I that uh, He said, Behold, I give you power uh, to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. That's what He said. But a lot of times uh, uh, we will not use what God has He's given us authority over. Uh, we want somebody else uh, uh, to do the fighting for us. We want somebody else to do the believing. Uh, uh, we want somebody else to do the praying. It's easy uh, uh, to call on your brother or sister uh, and ask them, uh, will you uh, uh, pray for me? Will you maybe fast a day for me? Uh, uh, but you know what? We have the power uh, to do what we need to do in God. We have a right uh, uh, to everything that God has spoken to us. I begin to think upon where the word says uh, that the angel or the Lord and camped around about them uh, that fear him and yes. that's why he delivers them. That's what the book says. And, yeah. and I begin to meditate upon the scripture how that uh, that we got a uh, uh, authority uh, but we got to back up with the hallelujah. I tell you tonight uh, it's time that we get our minds in the word of God uh, and yes. begin to say God I know that uh, you are with me. I know that in the word says great is he, and that's in you than he that's in the world. And I begin to read through the Word of God and begin to, uh, to get in the Word of God and God begin to give me so much uh, that there's no way that I can bring out everything tonight of what God has given me down through the last two weeks. But anyway, uh, I'm going to give you everything that I can. Uh, I know sometimes that we may uh, get a little cranked up but I can't help it, can you? Uh, because I'll tell you why. Uh, we better keep our minds uh, in with the Spirit of God. We better uh, keep our hearts right with God. Uh, we better know that we got power in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, and Brother Larry, I begin to read throughout the Word of God. Uh, we're the Lord Almighty, uh, the God of heaven, uh, the God of the universe. Uh, uh, he's still yet able today uh, to back up every word that's in that book. Uh, and if we'll just believe and trust in it, uh, I can read in the Word of God. Uh, we're the Lord. Uh, he began to use me many. He began to use many throughout the Word of God. From Genesis throughout Revelation. And God had to have somebody that He could use. He had to have somebody that said, Lord, I get myself out of the way and let Him be God. A lot of times we get ourselves in the way and we mess up everything. But I believe tonight that we need to say, Lord, I am yours. You take me and use me for the glory of you. And now sometimes Sometimes, uh, sometimes I get a little cranked up and I forget a lot of things that I studied in. Uh -huh. Bless him, Lord. Uh, but I want to try to bring out, Brother Chip, everything that I can tonight in this message. I, I want somebody to know that, uh, that they have power with God. Uh, yes. You've got authority with God. Uh, you don't need your mommy to back you up. Uh, you don't need your daddy to back you up. Uh, you don't need uh, uh, your husband. Uh, you don't need your wife. 
life. I thank God for my wife because uh, sometimes when I'm down, uh, she gives me hope. But uh, I want to tell you tonight, uh, you've got a torture in God. Uh, and guess what? Uh, your backup uh, is the mighty God of heaven. Uh, it's the mighty God of the universe. Uh, I begin to read throughout the word of God. Uh, when Lord was down in that city, uh, I hear the pastor getting on a, a, a sermon last Sunday. Uh, the word of God said uh, that God, uh, he sent his angel down uh, because that city was uh, so wicked. Uh, and their mind wasn't upon God. Uh, and their mind was upon everything uh, but the Lord Almighty. Yeah. And the word of God said uh, that the Lord, uh, what did he do? Uh, he sent somebody down my watch way. Uh, yeah. I said, Lord, you better get out of this city uh, because there's going to be something take place uh, and that there ain't going to be nothing escape. Uh, but I thank my God uh, and that he'll give us a word. Uh, he'll send somebody through with the word uh, and that will help us uh, to be an overcomer. Uh, and the word of God said uh, and that, oh Lord, he kind of lingered around a little bit. Uh, he took the word of God uh, and very, very lightly. Uh, I think that what folks are doing today, uh, and they're taking the word of God uh, and very, very lightly. Uh, sometimes uh, we got to get them. Uh, we got to give them a little shake. Uh, and say, hey, listen here. Uh, some of those things going to take place. Uh, you better get yourself ready. Uh, but oh Lord, he made it around. Uh, and the Bible said that God uh, sent an angel uh, and God Lord uh, and his two daughters and his wife. Uh, what was he doing? Uh, he sent his back up uh, to get his man out of that mess. Uh, and God has got an angel uh, and that's encamped about us. Uh, and he will deliver us uh, if we don't believe in the word of God. Amen. Come on. Come on. The Bible says and that Lord lingered around and God had to get him by the hand and bring him out of that city. He opened his two daughters and his wife. And when he brought them out, he sent them on a journey. He said, I want you to go and don't look back. I'm going to tell you something now. And God has got us out of a lot of mess. We better not turn and look back. And they call. The devil will entertain you with something. To be left behind. But tonight I want you to know that you have authority in God. We have power to cast out the devil. We got power to lay our hands on the sick. We got power to even raise the dead. We believe in the Word of God. We got to have the backup to stand on our side. I don't need the, the, the United States of America to back me up, no sir. All I need is the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Yes. That's all the backup I need, Brother J.R. I tell you, throughout the Word of God, we need to get in the Word of God and find out what we call. We are more powerful than the atomic bomb. If we are trusting the Lord, if we are trusting His Word, if we are believing His name, I just can't preach anything. Oh, why can't you pick up? I don't have the backup. What kind of backup are you talking about? I'm talking about this right here. This is what we need to back us up. I can't preach and pray God. I don't have the backup. This is what I'm about. A preacher. We better know that we're a preacher. There's something that we got backup about. And that's the word of God. I don't have the word on the back of my message. And the best thing for me to do is park my carcass on the sea. Oh, I feel like oh, oh, something from God. Yeah. And we know the word of God in the And they will be And they are preaching. And it's just the name of Jesus. Yes, and they are preaching the three gods. I tell you, I ain't never found it in my back. I've got back up, don't you? And the preacher of Jesus Christ. And him crucified. I've got it. And I want to be able to know that I've got authority and the preacher because he's given me the backup to preach it with. Yes. Amen. Amen. I can read in the Word of God. I went Peter and James and all the uh, disciples and uh, when they were preaching the name of Jesus uh, it stirred up the devil uh, if you want to get the devil stirred up uh, just talk about Jesus Christ being God uh, just tell the world uh, and they ain't the one Lord the uh, one faith in my baptism uh, well, what's in me I got back up uh, to show the devil they ain't the one God uh, they're preaching everything uh, 
and but they don't have the backup and I'll call authority in the Christian name of Jesus and because God he's given me more backup he is anointing me with the precious anointing and that's what we need it's the anointing of God to back up the word of God with I can listen to them Amen. and they're talking about everything in the world. They're talking about a show you see of a thousand dollars. I ain't never found in my word where that's a seed had you. And the seed that the word of God. And that's back up. I can prove it. And by the word of God. He need a hundred dollar bill. And God don't need my hundred dollar bill. And what he don't want from you is your obedience. He don't want you to look at him and say, God, here am I. Take me and use me for the glory of you. Come on. I tell you tonight we need to preach nothing but the word of God. Yeah, That's what we need to preach more than anything in the word. In this world, it's the word of God. Yes. Like I said sometimes, and I get to I get to listen to them. And they ain't got back up for nothing they're saying. I tell you, if a preacher ain't got back up, just tell me what you're saying. I'm not going to accept it on you. I don't have to say it. And that's Jesus. The Bible said by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders worked among the people. And guess what happened? And the devil got stirred up. And they got him stirred up. He was hot around the collar. And he, was fixing. And he thought that he had power to take the men of God that was anointed and to turn back up and work and do their life. He tried to shut them up. But thank God, and the angel of the Lord, he came around about them that fear him. you in a prison. You might think that they will got you back up in a corner. But hold on. And God's got an angel. And that is going to sin. He's back up. I'm back up oh. on the way. I hope you're on you. Oh. What he's told you. If you use your authority, don't worry about nothing else. And we got a back up on our side. Oh. We've got the whole heaven of angels who cares about us. Hallelujah. Come on. Thank the Bible you. says that when they had Jesus on that cross, and they thought they had him, the devil thought, I got him now. Uh -huh. I got him now. And when I lived in the Word, the Word Jesus said, I could have called more than 12 legion of angels. And they were 72,000 angels and that he had to back up because he had authority to put the devil in his place. And we got to realize what battle we're in. We ain't even alone. We may feel like that you ain't even alone. But guess what? God's got angels and kept about us. And we will deliver just in a time of need. Hold on. Who's your authority? And know that back up is on the way. I tell you, it's time that we, the church, arise to our feet and take authority over the devil. I tell you, I'm not going to let the devil buff me or you. I'm not going to let it discourage me and tell me that I ain't got what it takes. I know I got what it takes. I know the word of God to what the devil and I tell you if we don't get the word of God in our spirit and in our mind yes. the devil will walk all over us yes. he'll strip you of everything and that could be yours but we gotta know that we gotta talk to you Amen. 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 Come, on. come on and brother Larry and the Bible says and that old Peter and now 
the angel come down and got them out of, out of the jail cells and said, now go and speak the word of God. And about the time they was all getting ready to bring them forth. Uh -huh. The castle was going to bring them out. The big shots were going to bring them out. The little men of God that they count as nothing. But the Bible says they was brought them out. But guess what happened? Here come one and running in. All the men that you had in the prison, guess where they're at? They got down yonder in the temple. Oh. The Lord of God. Yeah. Being shut up, and God will deliver if we'll just listen to Him, if we'll obey Him and walk in the Spirit, and God will deliver. And the Bible said, and what He has promised, He's also able to perform it. And hear what the Word says. And guess what they done? Well, the story goes on a little bit farther. Old Peter knew that his God was on his side. He knew that the Lord was on his side. See, that's what we got to know. We got to know that we're right and what we're saying. And the way that we walk and the way that we talk. I tell you the devil, he might try to shut you up, but don't let him do it. He might try to take your authority. He might try to cause you and to get your eyes upon the wrong thing. But listen, and God has given his people some spiritual eyes. And Brother Billy, and we can't see these spirits around us. But I know and the thing the angels have kept about me. Yes, oh. All I need them. All I want to do is call on the name oh. of the Lord. And he will deliver yes. in the time of need. Thank you, Lord. Come on. I know Peter done experience that one thing. You think that didn't boost his faith up? It boosted his sky high. Right. He knew that God was going to deliver him. Uh -huh. And the Bible says... And that old Peter, when he heard the king, he began to kill off some of the church, uh, the church of, of the living God. And the Bible said that he killed James, uh, the brother of John, with the sword. Uh, and because uh, he seen it pleased the Jews, uh, he proceeded further uh, to take old Peter's life. Uh, did that steward Peter know? I uh, mean, old Peter came from all the preacher. Uh, you better repent. Uh, you better go down in the name. Uh, I'm telling you, he had the devil stirred up, uh, and the devil couldn't stand it. Uh, I tell you what. When we get the devil stirred up, don't run, just stand your ground. The devil God will deliver. But here he was. And the Bible says that they call old Peter and they put him in the common prison. Yes. You know. yeah, and guess what? God had his eyes upon his little man. But the word said and that old Peter, he was asleep. He wasn't worried about what they were fixing to do. But he was laying there asleep. I believe that he was sleeping like a baby. And when he didn't have a worry one on his side, he knew that God was on his side. He knew that God wasn't going to let him die by the sword. And the Bible says that they were going to bring him forth. But this was around around Easter time. So they put him back for a little while. And guess what? The night that they were going to bring him forth, and guess what happened? And God sent back up and said, All right, Peter. Hold him on the side. And lift him up. I said, find on your sandal. Yes. And watch yourself. It's time to go. And what happened? And the chains fell off of him. And God will deliver. Yes. And we'll just trust in the back up. Oh, and let him And But we want to find and get it out. That's the wrong thing. And we got to pray for them. And despite the users. And they called. We will go by the word. And we got back up and he will work. that we know that we got authority. It's time that we quit looking, putting our trust in the money that we have in the bank. If you got money, ain't no need to put your trust in a, in a million dollar home. And this world's all messed up. I'm going to have a little shack with you on the side of the hill. I know that I've got authority over the table. I know that God is on my side. I'm telling you, we've got it backwards. We're looking to the material things. To get us out of here. The material things. We're dragging us in the hill. And my God is wanting somebody. But I know that they are not in the past. I know that they have a word. And we're back up. I tell you this world needs a word. 
I preach to them uh, with the anointing to draw uh, and then it says to see to fire. Uh, we need yeah, some more to another dealer. We need to be there. And I said, Mac, uh, and lay the devil above us. Uh, I've got news for you. Uh, we may not have a house for uh, and then God's got to work uh, for somebody. Uh, yes. You've got a party. Uh, and use your power in God. Yes. We need to get a vision. Yes, we need a vision. Yes. Not a vision of McDonald's. Amen. Not a vision of Wendy's. Uh, we need a vision of the house of God yes. where we can get a word that will cause us to understand the same devil is that all you got. I tell you, my God is real. He's alive. He yes. said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I'll go all the way, even to the end of the world. I will know about you, but I'll come back up on my side today. I want the devil to know he's come too late to tell me that I don't have the word at the back of what God has told me to preach. I'll tell you, until now we need a backup to preach to us. I can get up here and tell you. All about everything in this world. I tell you the stories. All the hunt trips. I don't have no backup for it. But I can tell you one thing. When Jesus said, I preach my name. I preach it beginning at Jerusalem. We got backup, baby. This world don't have the backup that they're claiming they have. But I stand against every one of them with the word that I've got. I've got backup. And then he read my son president. When he read my son Bookhart, and the pieces written by, and the power of the Holy Ghost, and they come back through the Spirit of God. You know why the people, Brother Carnes, you know why the big majority of the world can't see what we see? They don't have the Spirit. It takes the Spirit of God to reveal the Word. It takes the Spirit to send it back. It takes the Spirit to preach the Word of God. It takes the Spirit uh, to reveal it to us. No. Uh, we got to have these eyes uh, from the Spirit and uh, we can see the Word of God. Uh, I know what I'm uh, talking about. Uh, Brother Dewey, one time, uh, I didn't have the Spirit eyes. Uh, but I thank my God that uh, one day uh, He showed me uh, that I've got 30 uh, and I've got the back of the premium. Uh, okay, my God, tonight, uh, the church, you want to thank Him uh, for every day. Uh, that you know who he is uh, in this world. Uh, claim that they got victory. Uh, and they claim that they're on their way to heaven. Uh, and they listen, uh, if they ain't got it like the Bible says, uh, we ain't going to make it no word. Uh, it's tough uh, and it's right. Uh, it ain't wrong when I'm going to tell you. Uh, it's right because uh, I've got back up to prove it. Amen. 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 Yes. <laughs> That's the reason when, I, when somebody asks me to preach, I try to get all the scriptures I can. Because that's what's going to matter. If I don't have the backup to preach, uh, to show you what I'm a preacher, uh, then I ain't going to be able to help you. I mean, if, I can, if I can show you the backup, uh, then you've got to believe it, don't you? Uh, we can't fight against the Word of God. Uh, that's what's around in this world. Uh, and they want to fight against uh, the Word of God. Uh, and God has still got some men and women uh, that's got power with Him. Uh, over the powers of hell and just tonight and we better get on our knees and we better pray and God will help us and to see the word of God and like he will send back to us and we the one revelation and the even one spirit and that is the spirit of the almighty God and there ain't no three or four spirits and we'll show you the word of God and they'll show the evil one spirit. and I've got back up to prove it I've got authority to preach and they eat my water. And I want the devil to know as long as things breath in my body, I'm going to tell it ain't you to the world. He's going to hear me. I preach this old, this old gospel that's been preached years ago. I turned the world upside down. That's what we need in this church world today. We need some preachers to preach hell hot. Amen. Get the devil stirred up. Amen. I tell you, you can't hardly see him until you get him stirred up. He's came up as himself right among us, ain't he? I tell you, you get him stirred up, you'll see the other side. And I thank my God. I've got power over 
glory to him. And God has given us authority, every one of us, authority over the powers of hell. Amen. Yes. Amen. We got authority over him. We are ambassadors for him. Uh -huh. He's given us the same power that he had uh -huh. to cast out devils, to heal the sick, to even raise the dead. I've never raised a dead, but I know God can see you do it, don't you? Yes. I've never laid my hands on somebody and see an arm grow out where there was no arm. But I know God is to you able, don't you? And I know that my God is to you real. I know that He's alive. And I desire to be where the Spirit of God is, don't you? I'm going to these dry, dead churches. He ain't going to help nobody. What's going to help them is get where the Spirit of the Lord is. And that's where they can be delivered. And that's where the yokes can be destroyed. And we need to find there's a place where the anointing is. And that's where we need to be. That's where we need to stay. And I tell you, God is real. And He's coming back for a real church. He has got authority over the powers of hell. Amen. I've never cast out a devil. I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to pray God. And you cast your spirit out of them. If I never see God heal another person. I'm still going to pray for him and you. And because I know that my God is able to do Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, I'll pour you it back. I tell you, God has got, he's got somebody that's going to rise up. Uh -huh. He's got somebody that's going to stand. Come on. <laughs> and that's going to claim victory over the path of hell. <laughs> he's got a church that he purchased with his blood. Uh-huh. And that's going to stand for him. And obey his voice every time that he speaks. Yes. Whether I do it, or whether you do it, or whether you don't and I don't, God's going to raise up somebody <laughs> to preach his word. Yes. Amen. Yes. And Brother J.R. and I begin to read in the word of God. Well, the Bible said that God will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. In all thy ways. He said, I will. I will give you an angel that will keep you. I believe that tonight that we all has got angels that camped around about us uh, and they will deliver. Sometimes uh, we get in those places, we get in the start uh, and when we go to the start, we'll say, God, uh, I don't know how I come to that. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you how you come to that start. Uh, and you come to the storm because uh, God sent you back. Uh, he sent you an angel. Uh, and they got you by the hand. Uh, and they led you to the storm. And uh, when the devil fell. Uh, and they had you pointed in the wrong direction. Uh, and God. Uh, he sent help your way. Uh, because he knows uh, that you love him. Uh, he knows that you are able uh, to lift your voice like a trumpet. Uh, and when God does something for us. Uh, we ought to praise him more than anything. Uh, we ought not be ashamed. And to say, God, I thank you for bringing me through the storm. And the devil wants every one of us to die in our storm. And when I thank my God, and that he'll keep me back up. And that will help me through the storm and through the trials and through the tribulations. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Brother Larry, when Jesus spoke to the disciples, he said, I want you to go in the city of Jerusalem. And in Luke 24, the Bible said that he told his disciples, said, I want you to go and tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you be endured with power from on high. And we read in the book of Acts chapter 1, where they went into the upper room and began to pray. And we could see that they stayed in that room until they got into the book of Acts chapter 2. And the Bible says, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, what was he telling them these? A disciple. He was saying now, I gave you authority to preach the word of God. But you're going to have to have back up to do it. And the word said, and when they was in that upper room, and they began to pray. And what happened? And God sent back up their way. He said the Holy Ghost. And the word said that they begin to speak in other tongues. As the Spirit of God gave them utters. I tell you tonight, we can't let the devil call us. And to sit in on God and say, Lord, I can't make it. And we can make it. And just hold on to God. And we can make it do it for the now. And the joy is a coming in the morning. And what are you saying, preacher? And just keep on the praying, singing God. And God's got back up. Coming your way. Hold on to God. I believe.
that when David went out against a giant, he knew that God was on his side. And the Bible says that old David, he done so the lion in a bear. And the devil come too late to overcome his faith. He knew that God was on his side. He knew that God had given him authority to take care of the sheep. And Brother Josh, the word says that old David went down there and know that God was on his side. He knew that back up I was going to follow him to the battle. And the word says that he done went down. And the giant said, I'm going to tear you apart. How many times did the devil told you that he was going to stop you? Uh -huh. oh, has he ever told you that? Come on, yeah. come on. He's told me that, ain't you? Come on, brother. I've learned the Bible says. And that old David went down there. And he looked at the giant. And he said, I'm going to feed your flesh to the fowls of the air. I see the devil done made his bags. And that he was going to tear him apart. He was going to rip his arms off. He was going to rip his legs off. And not that way. But that's what he was mean. I'm going to feed your flesh to the fowls of the air. And that David knew that God was on his side. He done seen a saw in the army back on the bank stood to death. We can't be afraid of the devil. And God's want somebody to know that he's on their side. And David wasn't looking at the child and saying, I don't know if I can or not. And the devil done trying to discourage him back upon the mountain. I said, David, have you seen this man? He's a man, he's a man of war from his youth. And you're too little. And then just like the devil today, I tell him that. Oh, you can't preach. And you ain't been anointed. I've got news for the devil. I'm not looking at the crowd. I'm I'm not looking at the sides of the devil, but I know that my God is greater than any problem that I have. And we got to get a vision. But we know that God has given us story over all the powers of the enemy. Come on, man. Come on, God. And the Bible says and that David went down there. And he looked at that giant and said, I'm going to feed your fish to the fowls of the air. And the giant began to laugh at me. I said, am I a dog that you come to me with a sling? But you know what? David knew that he had back upon his side. He knew all he had to do was to go down there. I can believe that he could hear God in the spirit. Just go right on, David. Don't worry about how big he is. Don't look at his armor. We can't drive by the tree. And look at the multitudes and the masses of cards in our parking lot. If we do, we're going to get discouraged, ain't we? But I thank my God tonight that I know that God is on my side. I know that He's with me. And I tell you, my God is real. He said, I would never leave me. That's all I don't have to worry about. That God will bail out on me. I know that He's going to annoy me. I know that He's going to give me a word. And the devil don't want us to speak the word of God. But we got a party and we got the back up. We can go with the hands. Amen. Amen. Yes, we do. That's right. And old David, he looked at that giant and said, No. And then, well, you ain't going to tear me apart. That's what we need to do to the devil. And when he looks at us and say, I'm going to attack you with some kind of sickness. I'm going to cause you to die with cancer. No, he ain't devil. My God is on my side. He took a stripe on the cross at Calvary for my healing. It's time that we rise up and use our authority and let the devil know that we got back up on our side. I believe that David, he went down there knowing that God was going to deliver him out of the hand this uncircumcised Philistine. And the Bible says that old David went down there. And guess what he done? He began to get him five smooth stones and he crossed the brook. And brother, and brother J.R., we got to have something to take with us to battle. If we don't have the word of God, if we don't have the sword, which is the word of God, and the devil's going to win the battle. And David got him five smooth stones. And when he went across the brook, he didn't go across the brook of the play patty cake with the devil. He didn't go over trying to smooth talk the devil. He went back for one day of the time the devil there. And when we come out to the house of God, we're going to have our mind made up. The devil, I'm going to tell your play out for all night. If we can get that momentum in our mind and our spirit, we call him on what we'll see God do. 
<laughs> I know we just pay along anything the devil gives us. Uh -huh. We'll sit and the devil will laugh at us. <coughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, but David did. David went across the road. He got him five smooth stones. And he went across the brook. He didn't go to play with the devil. He went to tear the devil's playhouse down. He knew that he had that to put it. I believe it with all my heart. And God done gave him authority to go over there with the devil. He didn't know how he was going to do it. He didn't know what was going to take place. But he knew that backup would be there when he got there. When he released that stone, it smote that down right between the eyes. Yes. And he hit the ground. He wasn't dead, no sure. And David took the sword out of the giant's ship and he killed him with his own sword. That's what we need to do to the devil. Everything that he comes down us with, we need to strip him down and take it and whoop him with. And when he says you can't, say I can. Yes. And when he says you won't, say I will. I tell you, my God is real. And he's wanting you and I to trust in him and know that he. He's He's real, ain't he? I tell you, my God, He's real. I come to give you a word tonight from God. Uh, the authority would back up. Uh, we got back up. Uh, I can't see them, but I know they're there, don't you? Uh, do you know that you've got back up on your side? Uh, Brother J.R., when I hit the floor, uh, I know that back up uh, is on the way. Uh, look out, devil, uh, because somebody's going to get a word uh, that they're going to be able to stand and uh, say, Satan, uh, and get me behind me. Uh, I tell you, we carry him along. He rides our back. He rides along on our shoulder. It's time to we shake ourselves and say, Devil, I ain't no horse for you to ride on. But mine is the mind of God. And we need to put on the mind of Christ and let the devil see. And we're going to use our authority because God is our backup. Yes. He's the backup yes. that we need. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. All these other countries, they depend on the United States of America to back them up in everything that they do. And I tell you, uh, we do it. But I'm telling you, I'm not looking for America to back me up for you. I be called. I know I'm a preacher of the same God that uh, Peter, James, and John preach. Uh, he's a healer, brother, do it. He's a deliverer. Uh, he's exactly what this world needs. Uh, if America don't get back to the altar, uh, America's going to end up in hell. Uh, but I thank my God. Uh, I believe all that's uh, keeping uh, America together uh, is a few men and women that are praying uh, and know God will on their side. Yes. We gotta be like old Elijah. When Elijah went up against the false prophets of Baal, he knew that he had backup. He knew that their God wasn't the God that he served. He might have heard him a cussing a little bit. He might have seen uh, uh, maybe can, uh, commit adultery. He might even seek somebody uh, murder somebody. We got a lot of that going on. But listen to me. Elijah knew that they didn't have the God that he had. Why? Because he he knew some way or another. Uh, evidently, he seen something now that crowd. Uh, he knew that wasn't right. Uh, maybe he seen something now the preacher uh, that he knows wasn't right. Uh, that stirred his spirit. Uh, that he knew that he had authority uh, over the powers of Jezebel. Uh, we need to get the authority uh, over the powers of hell today. Uh, and the word says uh, that they called on their God from morning until noon and no answer. Amen. <laughs> they thought they had. Back up. The backup that they was praying to was dead. Uh -huh. He was dead, been dead for years. A God that couldn't even move. Who wants a God that can't move? I don't want a God. And they don't move for me, do you? And my God, I'm a preacher tonight. I did anoint me. I was searched the book of you. I found the one that was. But I know I am. Don't you? I've got the same one. And that Jesus used Peter in the home of the tree. I know I've got that same Holy Ghost for the gift. I come back on the day of Pentecost. I've got back up on my side. But the devil may look at me. He may sit on me, but anyway. My God is power. He's a powerful mighty God. But old Elijah, he began to laugh. We need to laugh at the devil. And say, devil, you ain't got no power. I'll show you my God what he can do. Just give me a chance. Sometimes I can't wait 
taking you and to get up and say, God, use me. I'm yours. I tell you, my God is real. And then old Elijah began to laugh at him. He began to mock him. But their God wasn't going to answer. They didn't have no backup. And they prayed what they wanted to pray. And I thank God. Old Elijah's turn came. And he said, now get out of the way. And I'm going to show you what a God that I serve. And my God is real. He's alive. And he's a consuming power. And that's the yes. God that I serve today. And old Elijah, he stepped back. And when he called on the name of the Lord, and guess what happened? A backup came, and there was a fire fell out of heaven. And because somebody knew that they had authority over the power of hell. But if we don't use our authority, we ain't gonna have you. We ain't gonna have nothing, are we? It's time that we quit going on the field and that. It's time that we quit going on the chill behind. I did come. Uh, down here tonight uh, to show you what kind of shirt I had on uh, or see what you had on uh, I've come to see what God had in store I've come to give somebody a word uh, and to let them know that they got a party uh, over the powers of hell uh, from the chin uh, and when Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego uh, and when they come up against the king uh, and guess what they done they didn't bow down did the part I like Brother Dewey is right here in this scripture right here I'll tell you I love it. And the Bible says, and that old Shadrach and Meshach and the Bendigo. And Brother Larry did get bowed down to the devil. And the devil made his threat. He said, if you don't bow down, I'm going to throw you in the furnace of fire. But thank God, there was three men that said, no, I'm not going to bow down to the devil. Ain't that the way you feel? I feel like I'm one of the three. And the devil ain't going to bow down to you. No. Because you're a liar. And every word that you speak is a lie. And the word says that the old king, he told him to heat up the furnace. The heart than it ever was before. Did that stir? No, sir. I think that thing with a crack and don't you make an awful noise ever was. I think the devil's a telling. Do you see a thing? Do you hear how hard it is? You better bow down. Listen to me. I may go down, but I'm going to go down and win, ain't you? I may go down, but I'm going to rise again. What a God that we serve. But they said, no, we ain't going to bow down to you. And they heated that furnace up into a man. I guess who was in the fire. And Jesus was already in there. He done took the violence out of the fire. And guess what happened? And the Bible says that when they brought him forth, the old king Nebuchadnezzar, he had power within him. He was a mighty powerful man. He had all kinds of things. But the part that I like, I'll tell you here in just a second. And the word said that old king Nebuchadnezzar, made a decree. Anybody that speaks a word against the God of Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego and they will be cut into pieces in the house made of Dunhill and they called and God sent back to deliver the men and they trusted in him and what a God that we serve and the word says here's the part that I like I love it all and the Bible says that he gave them in other words, power over all the kingdom. And what did he do? He promoted these three men. He believed in the God that they serve. See, he gave them power. And the ambassador has power. The same as the king. And they had power with God. And God looked to me and you. And he said, I give you power. And did he tell you that preacher? I've got back up the prayer. I've got the word of God. And he tell me that God has given me power over all the powers of hell, and not half of them, and not ten of them, but I found in the word of God over all yes. the powers of hell. Yes. Now back up, no. church, we are to be a happy bunch of people and to know that we got God on our side. Yes. Amen. Amen. These three men did bow down to the devil. When God got done with the devil. He sent his angel and delivered them. That's what the book says. He sent his angel down and delivered them. And the king said, They better not be a word spoke against a God. Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego. I tell you, it's time that we stand our ground with the devil. And say, Devil, I'm not going to bow down. Because I'm in the midst of my battle. I ain't going to bow down again. Because I know if I can stand, I know that backup is on the way. 
because he's given me authority over all the powers of hell. And I know that my God is alive forevermore. And he's a coming for a church that he purchased with his own blood. Yes, he ain't coming back after our church that's in the same right way. Amen. No, he ain't. No, he's coming back after a church and that he purchased with his own yes. blood. And that's got his own blood applied to their life. Yes. And when the devil sees you and me, and you know what he's looking for? He's looking for the blood, ain't he? If he don't see the blood, oh. he's wondering for somebody that's got why the devil find me like he is. I'll tell you why. Because he sees the power. He sees the authority that God has oh. placed on your life. He sees the blood of the Almighty God. The word that the blood is. And they lie thank you. And my God is not a dead God. I ain't a prayer to the God. And that disciple that, that, that the Jezebel's all her prophets was praying to. Amen. I ain't a praying that kind of God are you. Yeah. My God's alive. I hear these people yeah. to me this morning. My God's alive. I feel him at you. Oh, yeah. oh my God that we serve. When they placed him in the grave, and the grave couldn't hold him. He had a torch over the grave. I tell you, my God is a real God. And he's coming back for you and me someday. Amen. Oh, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let him tell you that. That you don't have power. Don't let him tell you. There ain't no need to pray. Come on. Brother Jeff, he tells us that garbage. But you know what? We gotta shake his stuff up. I tell you, my God is real. I know that he's alive forevermore. I know that he is, don't you? Do you know that your God is alive? Yes. Can you honestly say, I'm a servant of God? I shared like a me, shack in the mini. I've seen him delivered, ain't you? And they've been times, they've been storms that I've got in. I said, God, how in the world did I make a trip? I hear him say, I sent an angel by you, hey. And the angel came about them to fear him and deliver them. The one of God that we serve. And that's got angels that camped around about every one of us in here. You might not believe me. Amen. I got back up to prove it to you. I got back up to prove it to the angels of the Lord that camped around about them that fear him. And they will deliver. Ain't that the best part of it? We can hold on and not try to take the battle into her own hand and make God do it and God will deliver. Yes. We ain't going down, we're going up, ain't we? The one of God that we serve. And that said you have authority and you got back up to prove it. And I tell you tonight we need a word from God, don't we? We need a word and we got back up to prove what we're preaching. I thank my God tonight. I can look the devil that square eyeball to eyeball. And I can say devil. And the evil one up there. And the devil knows too. He's a bigger believer in the biggest majority of the world. He's been there. He knows he ain't been one up there. He's been kicked out. I tell you, my God is real. Is your God real? Come on. Amen. 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 He makes his angels spirits and his mansions a flame of fire. That's what he said. I tell you, we are to be happy people. Uh -huh. We are to be a happy bunch of people, brother. They are to know that we serve in a God of Paul, sir. The God that, that Daniel, sir. The God that brought the children of Israel out of the wilderness. The same God. He's the same one. They ain't no, I ain't no other God up there. You might get mad at me, but I can't help it. Uh, you don't have backup for two, uh, but I've got backup for one. Uh, and I can take you to the Word of God. Uh, and I can show. Uh, I don't care how many degrees. Uh, I don't care how many Bible colleges they've been in. Uh, and the devil's taught them wrong. Uh, and they don't have the eyes of the Spirit uh, to see what we see. Uh, that's why the devil don't like me. Uh, and because I'm a Jesus name man uh, from the top of my head uh, to the bottom of my feet uh, I know I've got a torch uh, over the powers of hell uh, I know that I've got a torch uh, brother do it uh, to lay hands on the sick uh, and see him heal uh, I know I've got a torch uh, over death, hell and the grave uh, what a God that we serve uh, if we can get that man about us uh, 
uh, we can whoop the devil every time that he gets uh, in our way. Uh, Brother J.R., we have him so scared uh, that he'll be looking uh, to get away when he sees us a turn. Uh, that's the authority that we need. Uh, we're going to need to let the devil push us in a corner. Uh, say, if you open your mouth, uh, I will call hell to come your way. Uh, well, the devil send him my way. Uh, I've got back up on the way. Uh, we we'll do if I stand for the word of God, God will deliver his church in the time of need. I tell you, even when I'm gone, guess what? The angel's going to be with me. I can read it to you in the word. And when Lazarus died, what happened to him? God sent back up and took him to Abraham's bosom, didn't he? I tell you, it takes something in the hand of God. That loves us that much. And that even when we die in the faith, God's going to send an angel to us. He's going to carry us on. And Brother Dewey, I don't have to walk one inch. I've got an angel that's going to carry me. Send me down at the feet of Jesus. And that ought to be enough to make us look at the devil and say, Devil, you are a loser. We are the winner. We ought to be a happy bunch of people yes. in the house of God tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a time that we can have if we can get our minds together. Amen. Amen. What a time we can have. And do we it's hard to what we see God do. If we can get our minds and our hearts knitted together and say, God, I'm yours. Use me for the glory. And you know what's wrong with the church world today? And they know too much. That's what's wrong. And Paul said, I don't want to know nothing among you, say Jesus Christ. And him crucified. And I'm telling you it's time. And we put everything to the side. And begin to get our face in the Word of God. And get it off of Facebook. And say, God, help me to get my face in the book, and then I can have a word, and then I can stand, and what the devil with it, and God is real, and he's coming back for a people that's made herself ready, that's what the book says, he's coming back after a bride that's made herself ready, I tell you, I ain't got time to you, to argue with the devil, I don't have no time to waste on him, and my time is devoted to God, and when I can get home, I'm going to find me an order don't you? And when I got time, I want to give God every minute that I can give him. Why, preacher? Let me cross tomorrow. I may be a stand before the Almighty God. And I want to know that my heart is right. I want to know that my spirit's right. I want to know that my conduct is right. I want to know that everything about me is right. And that would be accepted of God. I don't want one thing to keep me out of heaven to you. You want to go to heaven? I want to go to heaven don't you? Yes. I'm going with authority too. I'm going with back up on my side. Are you going with back up on your side? We better know that God is on our side. I know that he's with me. I know that he's with me when I wake up in the morning and when I lay down at night. Then will you come too late to tell me that I'm in a cult. I'm not in a cult. I'm in the power of God. I'm under the anointing of God. And God has placed anointing upon our lives. And that we can help somebody else with. Yes. And that's why the devil don't want you to be where God's word is. Yes. Right. I know the Bible says and that the anointing destroys the yoke. Uh -huh. That's what the Bible says. Yes. That's what the Bible says. That backup, I can prove it by backup. I tell you, we need to be where the anointing is, don't we? Amen. Brother J.R., that's why we can look around see our little church is so empty. It's because people love what they're doing. Amen. The world loves the child. Yes, they God. love what they're doing. They love to tell their tales. And they love to lust. They love to, uh, to drink their booze on Sunday. Uh, but Brother Jeff, uh, we're a people uh, that's been called by the name of Jesus. Uh, we're the church uh, yes. that's been set yes, apart God. this last time. Uh, this evil time. Uh, understand for the mighty word of God. Uh, my God is real. Uh, if I can't preach the same thing that Paul, uh, Peter, James, and John preach, uh, I don't want to get up to you. Uh, because the Bible says, uh, Paul said, if another come preaching the other gospel, yes. uh, then that we, we have preached, uh, let him be a curse. Uh, uh, let him be a curse. Uh, I tell you, if they ain't preaching the word of God, you better flee from that place. Amen. You better know that they got back up what they're preaching. Yes. Brother Dewey, I got to have back up. Uh, yes. uh, when I'm to tell somebody something, uh, I want to know. Uh, because if they come at me, uh, I can take them to the word of God and say, uh, that's what the word of God says. Uh, that's my fault. 
focus. That's my vision to have a word from God that will help you when you out charter. And that you can look at the devil and say, I've got a party over you, pounds of hell. And the devil tries to take you down. Hold on, God's got back up coming. Yes. Don't get the Come on. Come Amen. on. He said, We be may endure for the night, but joy's coming in the morning. Amen. I tell you, the angel of the Lord that kept about us. He's going to deliver us. He's going to help us. He's going to help us be an overcomer. Yes. How many loves the Lord tonight? Amen. I love you, don't you? Give me my hand, Thank God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get a song. We're going to open up the altar. If the devil's trying to tell you to give up, hold on. Come on. If he's telling you that you are nobody, you tell him that you are somebody. God don't make junk. <laughs> if he's telling you that you might as well throw up your hands and give up, look at him and say, Devil, back up's on the way. The devil was sure trying to overthrow us somewhere along the way. <clears throat> I hope you've been blessed by the word tonight. I give you everything that God wants me to give you tonight. But I hope you've been blessed by it. I hope that that you will take this word and stand on it and know that God will deliver in the time of need. But we got to trust in God. We've got to put our 100% in God. Our total trust in the Lord. We can't, we can't get discouraged. We can't get weary and well doing. He says, we shall reap in due season if we faint not. What's he saying? Just hold on. Don't give up. Help's on the way. That's what we need to think about. Brother Josh, knowing that help is on the way. Amen. Knowing that God is still on our side, whether we feel Him or not. I know that He's on my side. And Brother Dewey, if I was the one I'm a field, I would have quit a long time ago. Because I know that God is on my side. I know I may be fighting the powers of hell. And you may be fighting the powers of hell. But hold on. Right after your storm, I've got news for you. God's got back up coming. And when you're fighting the powers of hell, I say, devil, back up on the way. Hold on. Don't give up. And let God bless your heart. Give the Lord a hand, will you? The same. So all of us, if you want to pray, if you need prayer, we'll pray for you, whatever. But anyway, hold on to God. Use your authority. Know that you've got backup, okay? Speak that to the devil when he comes at you. May God bless you.